Oh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy New Jack from 983 to B. Y'all, I want you to go ahead and do yourself a favor. Tune in each and every Sunday. Sunday morning, 9 a.m., tune in to my homie, G.I. Joe. Yo, he's an evangelist. He's going to speak to you, and he's going to speak to you hard, all right? He's going to give you some words to live by. Do yourself a favor. Tune in Sunday on 983 to B, 9 a.m. sharp. All right? Holla at your boy. Deuces. Hello, I am Evangelist G.I. Joe, and you are now tuned in to the G.I. Joe Radio Show. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm here not to tell you how to run your life, but I'm here to encourage you and to inspire you that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. If you just only yield to Him, put a little time in with the Word, put a little time in with God, allow Him to show you your purpose for living. And I know that he can do it because he created you in his own image, in his own way. He got a plan for your life. And it's bigger than your plan. Because, see, he sees your future. He knows why you just the height that you are, just the complexion, the race, whatever, etc. And he created you for that specific, specific reason. So please don't neglect trying to go to him and find out your purpose. And you can tune in every Sunday morning. Right here on this great radio station, 98.3 The Beat. And you can see us on the web. That's TheBeatColumbus.com. TheBeatColumbus.com. And I'm here, like I said, to spread love and to show love. Check me out on Facebook also. That's Evangelist Joe Miles on Facebook. Got nothing but love for you. Be blessed in a mighty way. And that the man, he said, watch over the flock of sheep and protect them from enemies night and day. Okay? Now, if you compare that as an illustration, I say that as people. That's what God really does for us. We just don't realize it sometimes. He protects us when we sleep. He protects us in dangerous situations so much that we don't even know we was in danger. You know that? Sometimes they call it a near miss, like a car, for instance, or a situation that you was in danger. It's a near miss, okay? But God protected us, and we didn't even realize it. You know, he never slumbers, he never sleeps, and all these things. And he's there to protect us from my enemies. You know, sometimes your enemy could be a person with a, with a smile. Think about it, prove it to you. What do they say about a smile? A smile is just a frown turned upside down. So be careful with your enemies. You know, that's why you need the spiritual revolution. So that the Spirit of God can continue to cover you, protect you, surround you, watch over you, encourage you, bless you. The list goes on and on and on. And see, you need to know him because, you know, sometimes like sheep, I'm just trying to encourage you today. You know, now like sheep, you know, sometimes sheep, they go through to and fro across the plains with the shepherd. Similar to us, we're going on a journey as well through life. Yeah. This life we're living, it's a journey. Think about that. And sometimes in this journey of life, we go through wildernesses. Yeah, we, we go through wilderness. What's the wilderness? A situation that you never experienced before. A situation that sometimes is more than you can handle. And you need God. You need your creator to help you through these situations, these wilderness uh, adventures. Okay? Uh, so just like a sheep, we need God to be our shepherd. Okay? And then, you know, we go down a variety of different paths, different roads, just like a sheep might go down a variety of trails, you know, as he's going through his journey through life. And it's set there before us. Now, in the most part, we wander on, we go on just like a sheep. He's just follow the shepherd. And we need to follow our Lord and our Savior, you know. And now if we do that, we will discover that sometime when we're going down these roads and these paths, we end up at a dead end. Or, or some rocks or rough places, you know, that we don't like. But now, what do we do? We might stop, back up, take another road, and keep trying to make progress, right? That's what we do. Now, just like a sheep, sometimes we might go astray. We might get on the wrong path of what our Savior really didn't intend for us to be on. So we need to just trust our Savior in this new year even more. I want to encourage you this new year a whole lot. I'm going to get real serious with you about your life, 
about your soul, about your purpose, about your creator, why you're here, why you're still breathing, why you're looking at this, this video right now, looking at me, I'm looking back at you. You wanna know what I'm gonna do? I wanna know what you're gonna do. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing because uh, the spirit is there wherever you are. God is there. You know why I know that? He's omnipresent. What does that mean? He's everywhere at the same time. Wow, that's some power. So we need to tap into this spiritual power this year. And I want to encourage you to just give him a chance to show you what he can do for you, you know. And now, you know, throughout all these years, even centuries, God has been there. And he changed not. He never, you know, grows old because he's not material. See, materialistic things grow old. You know, anything material. And he's not man-made. Did you know anything man-made, you got to always work on it? Think about it. It needs repairing all the time because it's material. And now on that note, I'm going a little bit deeper. I want to encourage you for real. Even our bodies is material. You know, we was once one day old. Think about it. And now as we grow, sometimes we have to take a little doctor visit. We feel the thing going on in our bodies, right? And then like me, keep having no birthdays, right? You get a little gray hair here and there. And that's evidence, you know, that it's not going to last forever. We're on this path of life. We're on this journey in the wilderness. So we need to tap into the spiritual side of our life. Just encouraging you now. I, wanna impre I don't want to impress you. I want to bless you to this morning, okay? And then I want to ask you to let somebody else know about the G.I. Joe radio show, okay? I want to let you know also that God never gives up on him. We invest a lot of time into our material things, our homes, our jobs, you know, clothes, our families. All those are good things now. Please don't misunderstand me. That's not a bad thing. But you know what can make it not too kosher in the sight of God? If you do all of this stuff and forget about him, don't give him the leftovers. Let him be priority first in your life. If you do that, he will make a way for you to accomplish all these other things for your family, give you a good job, careers, health and strength, wisdom and knowledge, and etc. The list goes on and on. I just want you in 2012 to check out Jesus Christ. If you don't know him, get to know him, okay? Because he knows you. Yeah, he created you for a purpose and a reason. I just can't stress that enough. And see, the reason I'm here this morning is because I just discovered these things about four years ago. Yeah, I'm over 50 years old. I'm not ashamed to say that because there are people who didn't live to see 50, okay? So thank God that I'm here. And now I'm yielding my life to him to help somebody else. And on that note, I want to ask you to help me help somebody else, okay? Uh, we're here, and we're not changing. We're going to continue to strive for perfection. We want to continue to encourage you to strive for perfection. Okay, you know you can call me at 706-523-2028. And I just thank you in advance for what you're going to do for the G.I. Joe Outreach Ministries and Radio Show. Until this time next week, just remember now, I'm here to encourage you all the month of January how to do a spiritual revolution. That's what the Spirit told me to tell you. See what it is, he speaks to me and through me. I decrease and he increases. See, he doesn't need my ability. He doesn't need your ability. Good morning, I'm Evangelist G.I. Joe. And I just want to let you know what I do in the community. What I do is take the word of God out there in the trenches where these people that don't go to church need to hear that word. And I'm here to appeal to you as a sponsorship, as a partner, if you just simply help me do what I do. And what I do is look for lost souls. I need you to just send me a donation each month. Whatever you can do, 25, 35, 50, 100. Okay, we'll do one minute. That was too quick. You're right. <laughs>